everybody to Cash It Cheat Day number 41 with a lot of food. Somebody want to say hi? Hi. Okay, some cereal, some leftover um, Halloween, Frankenberry, I felt like it. And here, some payway stuff, some chips with chocolate, and before I even start out with my cereal, I have to start out with this one. Before I do that, it shows the time like always, I've almost forgot. 826. So this is the Ruby Cocoa Bars that I was looking for the whole time. I've made a detour to Whole Foods to get it. I'm gonna taste this one first. See as you say. As you say, as you see. I'm so excited about it. Naturally red, not not colored. And I'm talking fast because I'm starving. It's good, but it's not distinctive. It's like more like milk chocolate. Finish in a second. I'll show you the cereal first. And then making smile pay away. The cereal are a little bit disappointing. I'm gonna give it like a 7 out of 10. Cause it takes a little bit of flavor. I wish there would be more flavor for. Cereal down, so it was a little bit of um, strawberry taste to it. When I drink the milk, when I'm eating something, because that stuff smells too good. Going to be eating this one first. Let's start off with a mega portion of, because it looks way bigger, fried rice and chicken, sweet and sour. Never had sweet and sour in my life because I never got Chinese food before I came to the US. So, something new. And payway, I got gift cards and at buy one get one, so basically for almost for free with chicken head. Yeah, nice. I have pineapple pieces, carrots, paprika, sweet and sour is very good too. I like it. Um, only thing I don't like about it, if you did the math right, because they have a PDF online with updated like calories. This one I think should be like somewhere between 1300 and 1500 calories. This one I think 1800, a honey seared. A lot of calories. I think the fried rice by itself has 750 calories. I really wanted to get the pork, <coughs> pork roll or spring roll or whatever it's called. And the donuts they have, but this stuff is like old, like six hours old. I got it like at 2 p.m. That was the only one location that was close by. Reads fairly well. I don't think the donuts or the pork spring roll would have done the same, so I left it out. Portion one done. Now it's the same thing fried rice with chicken and honey seared. A little bit more calories because of the honey. Hopefully it's good. <clears throat> it likes a little bit of flavor of the honey. Might be because it got cold. I didn't just put on a hot piece. Oh, wow. <laughs> now let's finish up this lovely chocolate. And then I'm gonna have more chocolate. Hopefully you saw the little hearts on it. I don't know if the camera focused or not. I mean, it's not bad, but it tastes really like real milk chocolate as well. So, this one is a little bit more pricey. I would go for the cheaper milk chocolate. Unlike dark milk or white chocolate, this one doesn't have a distinctive taste. So, all the other three, you kind of can taste out this one, I would say it's milk. Now to do this uh, Belgian chocolate waves and kind of before I even try it, it's a fail because by the way, it's from Ali, it's made in Belgium, but I actually thought it was chips covered in chocolate. <laughs> I bought it like months ago <laughs> and it's not, it's like chocolate in the shape of a chip, but chocolate is still good. 
I like it. It's a little bit like crispy because it got the little rice puffs in there. I like it. Next, I found this Wago as well. I thought, I don't know if it's new, I thought it was new. I saw it a couple months ago, but it's Hershey's bar with whoopers and the malt stuff. I don't think I liked it until I tried it last Halloween, so it should be actually a good experience now. It's good, but so I personally always prefer them with nuts of like Hershey's, almonds, Milka or Ritter Sport with whole hazelnuts, my favorite. But this one's good too, just a different flavor. A lot of crunchiness. A oh, 55 oh, change on me. Um, great thing, good chocolate, good chocolate, good chocolate, good chocolate. Mm, good, I guess, fried rice with chicken. Mm, other than that, other, it was a great first meal of the cheat day. I'm so excited. Hopefully, I didn't overestimate my hunger with digestion. Who knows? Who knows? I will figure it out tomorrow morning. And because this one is different than expected, I have to re figure out what I'm going to eat for breakfast. I want to eat, eat a lot of chocolate because I worked out last cheat day with the kids. And now after, I have no idea. I don't have a lot of stuff at home. So, and because of the lovely thing going on, it's kind of hard to buy some certain items. Well, that's it for now. Let's see the damage and be back, back for breakfast. I can't even talk anymore. Welcome everybody to the breakfast portion. I just have the soda here to hold up the candy for picture purposes. And it is, what is it? 8.38, a little different breakfast than I actually thought I thought about going out, but kids are sleeping or at least one kid and we have to go somewhere later. So I'm a little bit on a time crunch and I want to get lunch after we go somewhere. So it's a little bit earlier than usual. So I have to hurry up and eating some stuff. Otherwise I cannot digest it. That's the only reason why I started a little bit earlier. Otherwise I would have waited a couple of minutes. So 12 of those oatmeal cream pies. I got my mother ass. All these trip, all these actually sold them as a special event, I think. I don't know if it's special or not, but never had them. Start out with those. I like them. I like oatmeal. I like it. And they're actually soft ones, not sure you are crunchy, but chewy they call them. No. What are they called the hard ones? I forgot. Because chewy that's where the soft ones are. Too early. I only woke up like 20 minutes ago. I'm like, I slept in. I couldn't for, for last week, so I couldn't fall asleep at night. So <laughs> I stepped a little bit in, so I got up. I'm like, I cannot go anywhere time-wise, so let's eat that. A lot of chocolate, a lot of chocolate. So, worked on last cheat there. Man, those things are good. I didn't think I'm gonna like them that much because as I said a long time ago, I'm not a big of like Twinkies fan, anything like that. So I thought it would be similar level, but it's really good. So the those ones is the Terry chocolate orange. I've seen them on YouTube videos. I actually thought they were British at one point, but the back said it's made in France. So they're French. So basically, if you guys don't know, it looks, looks like orange. Every little piece of chocolate looks like an orange. There we go. I don't know. I don't know if the camera focused on stuff lately. So, hopefully you guys could see it. I'm gonna show it. And the orange flavor is really good. Mm. The flavor reminds me of something I had in my childhood. But it was chocolate. It had some like, not cream, but kind of between like, 
gel, it was more like a gel but more liquidy and it was sour, they call it a fishing steepchen tastes similar like the orange ones and I love those things Ah, oh, that's really good I bought my Christmas clearance uh, Target, Target actually had them this year or last year, sorry Now let's try this chocolate. I have no idea where I got it from. Either Target, I think, or Publix. Made in Switzerland. It's brown butter, deep dark salted brown darker uh, butter. I have no idea. Alter Ego. Must have been a clearance, a sale, a special sale. I don't remember when I bought it. Like why, why, why? Mm -hmm. More dark, dark chocolate. Well, I thought it would be stuff in there, but. How it looks. I got the hint of the butter, just a little bit, like overall. Nothing really special, so I don't think I would buy it again. Not my favor. I, don't, I didn't like it that much. And, and I have to say that about the chocolate, that's sad to say. Um, we got another chocolate, of course, from Aldi's this time. It's like, with like a uh, hazelnut piece in it. Aldi, recent Aldi trip when my daughter Annabelle was sick this week, we walked to Aldi's. <laughs> She's like, uh, Daddy, you need a lot of chocolate. Oh, I bought a lot of chocolate bars, so. She picked all of them out, so. Here we go, that's a look. They're all individually like this. Oh, it makes it easy. No good, but for that matter of reason, I would prefer whole hazelnuts in it. That's why I got this one with whole hazelnuts. I don't know why I prefer whole hazelnuts over like hazelnut pieces. Just personal preference. Next is giant bar. Of course, white chocolate. So I have had all different type of chocolates today. Or oh, maybe yesterday this chite. I mean. I had the ruby, I had dark chocolate earlier, I had milk chocolate, and now I'm adding white chocolate. Oh. With a giant bar. From Aldi. Let's see how Aldi does with white chocolate. It's a, it's a good bar. I'm just thinking like, like something small is missing, like maybe a little bit more sugar. <laughs> I don't know. Not, I'm missing a little bit of the flavor, but it might be because I had so much chocolate and my palate is a little bit tired, but now we a little bit more intense flavor wise. But it's still good. Either I'm eating too slow or I'm talking too much, guys. Maybe I show you the chocolate too much. Because I'm already hitting almost the 30 minute mark after we start at one point. But this is basically one of my favorites. Whole hazelnuts in it. Doesn't have to be milka chocolate. The other one, good ones out there too. I just got it because I went to a European grocery store and I got one of my other favorites, the Kinder ones, on sale because it's expiring this month. 99 cents. <laughs> Instead of normally $2. So I was happy got lucky. Whole hazelnuts are so much better than chopped hazelnuts and chocolate. I don't know why. I'm just, I really have to feed myself. It's really amazing <laughs> what the difference is. Nine eleven. one's really great, but I think you have, to, you have to be grown up with that as a child, with that flavor. To really appreciate it. I, I think I've seen some YouTube videos people don't like it. I can't understand that, but taste buds are different, and hopefully, I just remembered. I hopefully turn on the microphone. Otherwise, I have to do a voiceover. So, guys, damage, and let's see what we're gonna have for lunch. I have no idea yet. Welcome 
going back to a super late lunch. It is 3.45, I might extend this, I may make another 24 hours, I make it maybe 25, 26 hour one. Reason why is we had to go to the uh, doctor for Annabelle, took longer, then I had to stop by the grocery store because of the stuff going on right now. Crazy, crazy, just to find something to eat for the week. And everything took longer, took longer, so. Supposedly strawberry milkshake, it hardly tastes like strawberry. Large for McDonald's. Some Outback, some of the Aussie fries with bacon and cheese. Little bread, I love it. Some sweet potato with a, um, what is it on it? Butter, sugar, everything, and then Alice Springs with sauce. I don't know, it looks small. I forgot my fork. Hey, can somebody get me a fork? Mention, get me a fork, please. You, are, you did the, the picture. And I'm super thirsty. What a long trip. Ah. With some ranch. Amazing. Unfortunately, too cold. I had to get the kids a happy meal afterwards. Oh, McDonald's always the slowest one, so I'm eating cold. Amazing big bacon piece. I don't know how that happened. This is my favorite one, as I said before, when I had it last time. My favorite one at Outback is this Alice Springs chicken, which is amazing. And the honey mustard sauce is amazing. By the way, there's a lovely copycat recipe of it online. If you Google it, you're gonna find it. Basically, it has a lot of mayonnaise in it. Crepe poupon, um, mustard, a little bit of honey only. Um, what else does it have in there? Horseradish, I think. Look it up online, it tastes exactly the same. So that was it. By the way, I account for the honey mustard sauce and for the ranch. Reason why this is not like competitive eating or something like that. Calories in, calories out, always count. As you guys should know if you follow my channel the longest time, I think I'm gonna mark it at the end what the calories are, but the honey mustard sauce is insane. I think one serving of is like 310 calories. So I, I ordered double, so it's like 600 for that alone. It's insane. If you look at the copycat recipe, you will know why. A lot of like mayonnaise is <laughs> the main stuff. So like some Dunkin' Donuts. I'm not gonna eat all of them. Some of them are for dinner. If I don't even wanna eat all of them, I'm gonna give it to the kids. We well, had four. I'm a little disappointed. I want to get an apple fritter. It's not part of the dozen. I want to get one. He's like, no, you can't get it in a dozen deal. Like, thank you. Um, I know I got Bavarian cream, I think. I got jelly, two each. I got strawberry, and then I got brownie batter. Brownie batter is this one. Doesn't sound appealing right now, so. I'm trying to figure out which one is the jelly and which one is this Bavarian cream. I want, oh, this is Bavarian cream, this is jelly. Let's get the Bavarian cream first. One of them, feel like it. A treat for the kids. That's good breakfast. You get happy a happy meal and donuts. <laughs> um, now we just have to pick up prescriptions and go out in the craziness. Like I, you follow me on Instagram. I put put a picture up. Like stuff is so sold out. And I don't understand what the, what the obsession with toilet paper is. I really don't. It's not like I mean, the main concern. Like you know, we went to Aldi's. We finally got some black beans because I went to another all these black beans were sold out. Kids love burrito bowls with black beans. Limit four cans per customer for each item. So I only got four cans, but toy paper is sold out everywhere. And I heard yeah, everywhere people buying toy paper. I don't know. What's more important? Getting food or toilet paper? I don't know. Unless some people have a metabolism of like insane people and need so much toilet paper. I have no idea. We we don't need that much with three people. The jelly filled one. I think I have to stop a little bit earlier with eating. I'm still starving. I have this problem from time to time. Like if I'm, my hunger doesn't go away, it can't be 
all the way up to the <coughs> top. Almost throwing up. I'm still feeling hungry, but I drink almost two little bottles because three hours without drinking, I have a lot of. I need a lot of drinking. Bad for me. I'm stopping with two donuts. I think because. Mm. I'll save it for later. Maybe I can get myself an icy. Because I should have to pick up Elba's prescription. I have to go out anyways. Now I got text message, hopefully they're done. So it's 4 or 7. Odd CJ in odd world nowadays. So, damage, and then we will see. Dinner time and it's randomness. It's 8, 10 and we actually went out, stopped by at Ali's again to get some soap. <laughs> uh, everything takes so long nowadays. Not fun, so randomness of the evening. I had to get. Amazing. I have a new flavor, strawberry flavor, it tastes really good. Because up now I've got, got the sweet cream cheese. I have no idea what to eat, I found some of new items. I have no idea how my stomach capacity is, how much I want to eat, but this thing is good. And a lot of filling this time. Um, I think you don't have strawberry, I'm so disappointed. I thought they had a special edition, like St. Patrick's, whatever edition. They only had like, only like the charms things like um, here on here, and they had some cream ones, but nothing like special, special. So disappointed. No reason why I stopped by. It wasn't hardly had any flavor. Not the usual location I go to. Second one. Those are brownie batter ones. Never had them as you can see. Kind of looks like something else. You can find a diaper. Uh, this misses my flavor. It's not my flavor. The last two ones, another Bavaria, another jelly one. I had it earlier. I got two of each this time. Yeah, that wasn't smart. That's <laughs> a <So> spade. <laughs> so everywhere. Mm, deciding what to eat. Like always, I found some new items. I don't know what, which one I'll try or if I want to have some regular chocolate. Hardest decision at the end of the day when I have to make up quick decisions what I want to eat. Too much because at the end, my stomach is going to be full and I gotta eat what I want to eat. I have multiple items I want to eat. Let's do those. New Trolley Sour Crunchy Crawlers. I forgot what they are. Either they're hot and soft in the inside. What are they? Candy shell and chewy inside. Brand new. Got a bag for me and a bag for the kids. Ugh. I don't know how they look like. They kind of look like, I don't know. They look that ass appetizing. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they look. And guys, can you guys can see it? Put some in my hand. Maybe the camera focuses better on it without my face. You guys can see it. I don't know. Interesting look. I mean, kind of a different texture. I give them that. They say they'll make you say, "I got the crunchy munchies." So it's kind of crunchy and soft and chewy inside. I get it. Flavor-wise, the same old flavor they have with other stuff, so nothing I, I don't know. Okay, nothing like new, inventive, majorly, but what can you invent? All the flavors are always kind of out there. But not sour, I thought it was sour somehow. But I say it's sour crunchy, so I don't know, not sour to me. Oh, sour enough. Mm. 
Oh, the companion comes back. Sorry, guys. Now, I guess a failure purchase. They got me with a new thing. Hershey's new. It says white with whole almonds. We open up and I will tell you guys why I think it's gonna be a fail. Think what I thought. Look at it. I thought white white chocolate with almonds in it. That's how the bottom looks. If you look at the fine print, it says white cream with al whole almonds. I'm like, why is it a white cream? I look at this one, it's white chocolate from Whole Foods. This one from Hershey's has no cocoa powder in it. It doesn't have real vanilla in it, it has the uh, vanilla. I would assume this is the artificial vanilla, so this is not a real chocolate. Failure, making it too, really cheap. And this bar that cost two dollars fail for the price because this bar with real vanilla and real cocoa powder was 250 or three dollars so make it cheap that's what i call it but white cream instead of white chocolate i mean it's not bad but Not what I thought I'm gonna buy. Shame on Hershey's. Or shame on me for not reading it. Like last week. Why not? I have some. Some of the. What, what are they called? Fist candy or fist candy? I forgot about it. I had it last week. This is a different type, but same stuff. I'm trying to figure out if they have an English on here, but. I don't know if this candy is right or not. I just like good stuff. I found it. Like I had too much chocolate today. I want to start out with anything like big. But I didn't think I was that, that hungry, so. <laughs> but if not, I would have got myself a sub or something like that. Wow, well, but I was kind of disappointed. The warm stuff. They only have like pulled pork, cheesesteak, or like. Yeah, pulled pork or cold cuts, and I didn't feel like any of that stuff, so. I just didn't want to go anywhere. I think with that, I unfortunately have to say, cheat day is over. I still have some chocolate stuff here. The problem is, I don't know, oh, it's not high goes. Chocolate, as you guys can see. The problem is, I don't feel like it right now. I should have got myself something else to eat. My, my bad, my bad, but I just didn't, want to just didn't have any stuff I wanted. So, with that being said, I think over hopefully you guys liked it hopefully you guys stay safe at home if you have kids have fun most likely they're off of school my kids are off of school for two weeks and <clears throat> i think it's important to stay healthy uh, so let's see my physique after the damage in a second i have no idea how it's gonna go because i'm a little tired so 8:36. Did I show the time? I don't even know. So guys, finish. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Up here is the uh, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. I can't even think of it right now. So I'm tired. So I have to say bye, damage, and then <laughs> I ramble on like always right now. And then my physique and my lovely talk like always. Bye-bye. So far. Time to say goodbye. I have no idea if you can hear it through the microphone, but I still have the sinus infection from Annabelle and Sebastian. Sebastian was the first one to have it. So I'm a little sick. Let's come to the unpleasant physique and I will talk about why. So right before I started my cheat day, I came in at 192.7, I wrong side, sorry guys. So the night afterwards, I came at 210.4, so I gained 18 pounds roughly was a great cheat day so the morning afterwards at 208.0 the day when i fasted 
So on the second day afterwards, I came in at 2 or 2.1. Now that they fasted. And then day three afterwards, I came in at 197. But that day I was like really hungry. So I didn't stop. Why starve myself? So I had breakfast. And then I had like a lot of errands to do. And uh, I'm, I try to find a protein source because I normally like to eat meat, like some meat source. Thanks guys for buying up all the food. Like I went to 10 different stores, I ended up at Costco with steak. And I ate like, I don't know, at 4, 4.30. I had a lovely meal, but my binge eating kicked in again because I'm all, totally out of my uh, routines. I'm real, totally out of whack. So day four, you can see that I came in at only 201.4, but it's gonna be higher, just to let you guys know. I'm just off my routine. So uh, for me, keeping my little body in check, who likes to be overweight, it's right now, I don't know, sick, all the stuff going on, not finding stuff, stressing about stuff, distance learning, being not able to do everything in there, like I am just like mentally out there. So the physiques are gonna be horrible for me for next week and I'm gonna work on it like, I don't know, when I'm gonna be ready to lose the weight again. So, but I'm keeping the cheat days up just to keep everything like sane, like with all the stuff going on, keeps our minds away from this current situation as you guys could imagine. So guys, as I always say, stay healthy, train hard, and see you guys soon. I know it's gonna be hard. The staying healthy is hopefully number one priority. Next Monday is gonna be another cheat day. I might be doing another copycat thing. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna be, yeah, next Monday is gonna be cheat day. Yes, sorry guys. But I might have to skip the next Monday afterwards. I just expanded my Wednesday videos. If you want to be more informed, watch the Wednesday videos. I'm talking too much. Oh, by the way, hopefully you like this a little bit longer talking format in my cheat day video. Guys, have fun.